Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria, your Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your midweek motivation reading for Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Let's have a look and see what messages come out here for you today. If you are new to my channel, um, just so you're aware, Wednesdays we do a little bit of motivational readings here. This is not necessarily trying to predict the energy of the day. We've already got a couple of days of energy on the go. This is really messages of motivation, positivity, and advice that come from spirit. And uh, so hopefully this does help you in some way. So we're going to start off with a message from your animal spirit guides. And we're going to start off with the Andalusian horse. And this is quite a nice message coming out for you today here with this. So horses, of course, traditionally are used for transport back in the olden days. If you wanted to go from one city to another or even one house to another, chances are you were spread so far apart that you weren't necessarily going to walk there. So the horse brings a message of transcend. So this is moving out of one state into another. This is about moving through space and time. This is elevating yourself to a different level, to different heights, and the horse can help take you there. So if there's something that you want to move past in your life, if there's something that you want to change, something that you want to overcome, and something what you want to move, even move forward to, right? It may be in a different way of being for a different goal, a different outlook, right? Even just different energy, call on the energy of the horse there to get you there, to help you on your journey, uh, to pick you up when you're feeling a little bit down or you don't have the energy. So it's a great energy there. Horses, of course, are used in um, imagery and traditional tarot, right? We've got two horses on this particular card. We've got a black one and a white one. And a black and a white horse is quite often on the chariot card, right? We've got the two sphinxes there, which uh, I don't know if sphinxes or horses or kind of cats or hybrids or whatever they happen to be. Um, but there is a black one and a white one. And this represents your physical and your spirit or your masculine, feminine, your yin and your yang. And when those are in alignment, right, this is where we do move forward and where we leapfrog um, over things that are in our path. So this power lies within you and spirit wants you to wants to remind you of that. So a great way to start off your reading. Remember that you do have the power within you, but you can also call upon your horse spirit guides there uh, to help you on your journey. So let's see what else we get in here from messages from spirit, please. Midweek motivation, please. Thank you very much. Oh, and we've got a twofer coming out here. We have Ostara bringing in incubation. So when we incubate on something, right, there's something growing. There's something um, that is that you want or something that is coming to fruition in your world. Right now, right, we've got this egg. We've got somebody there in a little fetal position. So this can be that you are... Um, working on something behind the scenes that you've got something going on perhaps there's something that you are creating something that you're you're changing in your world and with the incubation period here this is like a little bit of a waiting period waiting for the right time waiting for um you know something to take a little bit more shape and form it could be a plan that you've got in your head like some sort of idea um something that you're creating but it's like when we get this particular energy something is about to come to fruition for you something that you've been waiting for for a while and this is something beautiful this can be a new beginning this can just be feeling like a whole new you and you know the thing is is as I do this reading of course we're in the middle of eclipse season and when we're in eclipse season we're eclipsing things out of our life but we're also attracting things in right out with the old in with the new so this can be a time of great transformation and growth for you this can be a time where you are feeling like you want to try something new or you want to make some change in your life and this is really saying here that you know what don't rush the process because you know when we rush things and force something into existence quite often they fall apart because we don't have the foundation that is necessary so take your time 
uh, be a little bit open, flexible, adaptable. And this is a wonderful energy coming in here for you. Oh, and how fitting. We have Selene energy coming in with the death card out of this deck. All right. Now, death can be a metaphorical death, right? Something, uh, an old belief system, old parts of you, right? As we grow and evolve, we do have to let things go. Things do fade away. Um, you, this might be a time where you are letting go of things in your life that just don't work. They just don't click anymore. And this can be ways of thinking. Um, this can be your belief systems, but this can also be people and situations in your life as well. Death does bring about an ending to things, right? And in order to bring in the new or in order to make improvements, something does have to go. And so this is a time of great change and great evolution for a lot of people. This is a time where we really are shedding things um, out of our lives that just don't work anymore. Um, but we're making, we're forging new paths forward in a more positive way. Now, the Soane energy is also an incredibly spiritual energy with this particular card. Um, of course, we do have pumpkins there. Now, some of the um, history behind carving a pumpkin and putting a light in there is to ward off like evil spirits and things like that. But quite often, what happens at this time of year, the veil is then um, it's easier to connect with your intuition, with your higher self, with your third eye, with your spiritual senses. But it is also a lot easier at this time of year to connect with the world beyond. And this can be your spirits, your angels, your guides, but it can also be with the death card here, your past loved ones. And this can be your ancestors, right? Things from a past life, but this can also be something a little bit more recent. So if any of you have had a loss in the last year or so, um, ever since uh, last Halloween, maybe, um, this is a time when you're being called upon to connect with your past loved ones. Now, you don't necessarily have to have any special gifts or talents. Quite often, you know, in a lot of countries in the world, people have an altar. Uh, you could call it a shrine if you want, but I don't like calling things a shrine because that, you know, kind of uh, invokes like worship, right? And, you know, uh, we can go down a slippery slope with that one. So, you know, an altar um, for for people, just something like in memory, right? You have a, a picture of them, maybe uh, some sort of keepsake that um, they were connected to in some way, like things like wedding rings or a brooch or a watch or something there, right? Maybe even just their like their favorite flower, something like that, right? Just put that, put that there on a table and then light a candle. Make sure, of course, you don't have anything flammable around the candle, but you can just light a candle and you can just sit there for a few minutes and just think about that person. Ask them for a sign that they're around you and that they're there. Um, sometimes they come in, um, you know, with an animal spirit. Sometimes they come in with, um, you know, with a smell, right? Um, if you've been on this channel long enough, you know, my grandmother um, comes in with the smell of Paul Malls. I really wish, I really wish the uh, that she would come in a little more often with the smell of the talcum powder. But anywho, uh, it is what it is. So, you know, so my grandma's always, uh, always around somewhere. But uh, yeah, I usually get like the smells, right? And um, I lost my mother back in the summer. And uh, I know she's around too. She works in very mysterious ways. She's very, very, she was a very kind of closed off, quiet person. Um, so she's a little bit more subtle, um, but you know, it's unmistakable. So this is a great time of year to connect with your past loved ones, right? Chances are they're not going to just materialize on the table in front of you. Um, but uh, they will, they will work in little mysterious ways somewhere, but light that candle and just think about them. Too often in our North American ways, too often we shun uh, death, right? And, you know, we, we don't celebrate someone's life. Instead, we fear death. And the thing is, is that death is only the beginning for a lot of things. And, uh, you know, it's really our soul contract that's up in this world. So, um, you know, they're your past loved ones. They're off doing some wonderful, magical things in the background with their soul. Um, and it's just that their physical experience has come to an end. So connect with them. It's a great time of year for that. 
We have the spell energy bringing enchantment to us, all right? So, you know, for some of you here, you have uh, had some invocations that you've done. You've set some intentions and your spells that you've created are working, okay? So this is a wonderful time for you filled with limitless possibilities, um, untold amounts of growth, opportunities, new beginnings. We are eclipsing things out of our life and we're making way for some better things. It does create change and it does create endings and new beginnings in there. So in this energy, this is really speaking to your magic, your ability to cast a spell, to cast your intentions and to have something happen. So believe in your own magic here, whether you're doing something as simple as connecting with your intuition or connecting with your past loved ones, or maybe you are wanting to make some important change in your life, that incubation energy right there, set your intentions and then let it percolate, right? Let your intentions kind of grow and let something happen, but be ready to take action, right? The horses um, there do invoke a little bit of action. So whatever your situation is, there's a lot of magic that's going on around you. We also have the crone energy here, and this is bringing in an energy of release, okay? So kind of like that death energy that's coming in there, right? This is a time to let go. It's a time to find a little bit more freedom in our lives, and it's not always easy. We are taught to hang on to things, to cling on to things. We're afraid to let go, and, you know, because why? Well, it's a safety net sometimes, but, you know, or we'll call it our comfort zone, right? We do hang on to things that even just aren't good for us. Humans have the most incredible ability to adapt to pretty much any situation, even horrific situations, because it com becomes our normal. And, but it doesn't mean that those things are good, right? We hold on to memories and pains and hurts and, you know, it, it's because it's familiar, right? And by letting go, we venture into the unknown, right? We let go of that little net that we've cast. So the crone energy is coming in here to help you to release, to look forward, to clear your path, to clear your energy in an incredibly positive way, right? And that is, in essence, of course, what this, what these eclipses also do, right? Eclipses are here to shake things up. A lot of you are already going through some stuff with the solar eclipse we've just had, and there's more to come, right? We're feeling this energy, okay? And we've got a lunar eclipse coming up as well. And this is just such a very powerful time. We've had a lot of planets that have been in retrograde, and a number of these outer planets that don't necessarily change signs all that often. And all of this is going on right now. And so it is creating uncertainty. It is creating um, shakeups and breakups and makeups and things in our lives, right? So, um, you know, but it's also empowering us. And in the energy of empowerment, we can release and let go. Remember your power to attract and change things in your world in a positive way. But whether you're setting intentions or whether you're on a healing journey, letting go is the, is the key to moving forward. So let's get a few more cards out here. What other messages do we have, please? What other messages do we have? Thank you. We have the magician. Oh, I love that. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. One more, please. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And we have card number 20, which is discretion in this deck, but it's actually the judgment card release, surrender, let go so that you can clear the path for something new. We do have the magician coming in here. So very much like that spell energy, right? You have the magic, you have the power, you have the focus to create the life that you want to make the changes that you want and to attract wonderful things in your life. The magician is a powerful card of manifestation. The basis of manifestation is creation. When we get the magician energy, this reminds you of your personal power 
to find the resources that you need, right, when you need them, right? But we do sometimes have to take a step forward, right? We quite often do have to try something a little bit different or we need to get a little bit creative. So this is a wonderful energy coming in here, powerful time for manifestation. And, you know, depending on how you do work with eclipse energy, um, we eclipse energy does tend to be a little bit chaotic, a little bit disruptive. Um, and, you know, even though we did have a new moon, um, a solar eclipse, right, depending on how you uh, interact with the moon energy, some people get really discombobulated. Um, but if you feel calm and powerful, right, then by all means manifest away. Some of you might want to wait until the energy does dissipate a little bit. Wait until the new moon in uh, Scorpio in the middle of November, November 13th, right, which is actually represented by the death card and uh, with Pluto energy there to really pack a punch to make powerful um uh, intentions there to change your life. But whatever your situation is, this is all about your magical powers within. But we've got the Ace of Pentacles here for you as well. Some of you, you know, spirits really trying to lift your spirits here and really saying, hey, there's a lot of things going on right now. We're cleansing, we're purging, we're bringing things in, but there is changes ahead for you. And with this Ace of Pentacles, very much like this incubation, some of you have been waiting for something. And this is your reminder, there's some Something happening behind the scenes get ready to take some action get ready to seize the moment the ace of pentacles can bring you in some luck brings in new beginnings it can be a windfall it can be a little bit of money it can be a new job it can be a new home it can be a new level of commitment in something right but something real something that you can touch and feel and see right not some invisible force there right so it's something actually happening and manifesting in your material world this is also saying that it's a great time for you to embrace your luck and if you do want to make some change right what is it that you want new because there's seeds of opportunity being sown right here and you have that power to really manifest this into reality. But we do need to set intentions and then let things go. The discretion energy here, this is the judgment card, judgment card represented by Archangel Michael, really helping us to bring things out of the darkness into the light to see what our blocks and obstacles are. And this is where we make a final decision, a final judgment call, if you will. Do we cleanse and purge? Purge something completely out of our life, right? Help use this eclipse energy to help you do that. Eclipse something out. Goodbye, right? Once and for all. This is a very much once and for all energy, a final chapter, a final show, right? Because we're getting ready to move forward into something a little more, um, a little more exciting or a little bit more beneficial to us than where we are right now. So for some of you, there's some sort of revelation here. You might discover parts of yourself. It's a very spiritual energy here with this particular card so there's something that maybe you can't see right now that you can connect with right and it could be angels spirits guides your past loved ones there it's a great time for you to do that with this very very spiritual uh, you gain clarity um, with this right um, but this is also where we do get forgiveness and healing where we cleanse and purge and where we can also revive something here and have a second chance so for some of you, this is a time where something is coming back into your life. Now, of course, as soon as we say that, people automatically assume it's people, and it's not necessarily. This can be you reviving a dream, reviving a goal. This can be an opportunity that maybe you thought had passed you by at one point, and now here it is coming back around again. And the thing is now it feels right, because sometimes we don't embrace opportunities when they come around the first time because we don't feel we're ready, or we feel as though there's something that we have haven't accomplished where we are right now or just something that has been holding us back and we can't always figure out what that is right away um, then we come into the realization later and this is quite often where things do line up for you so there may be some second chances that you have right here right but this is really freeing yourself from any kind of restrictions, blocks, and obstacles. And this is that you can move forward in a wonderful, wonderful way and embrace a better way of being, doing, living, 
right? New opportunities or this period of growth and creation for you. Beautiful energy coming in here for you guys. So embrace it, claim it, live it, love it. It's wonderful. It's magical. Not always easy. Okay, when we get the judgment card, when we get the death card, right, when we're transcending, we're changing, it's not always easy, but the power within with the magician, you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If there was, please like this video. I truly appreciate that. Let's me know you resonate with the reading. Um, in the meantime, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.